Hey everyone, this is Alex O'Neill doing SF Dark Justice's second video log. Um, this is a four-year-old U.S. bred horse, obviously. Um, still intact, so he is a stallion. So Ellie and I got him in November. Um, and to be totally honest, we, we he came to us backed, and we kind of threw a leg over him and just got to know him um, in the round pen. And a really, really straightforward, kind horse balanced and walk and trot when he came didn't have a whole lot of experience cantering um, but we did a few sessions in the round pen did a bit of groundwork and he's a really trusting horse so it made our job really easy he had a great start to life um, in a beautiful part of the world so here you can see just having you know I think this is his second trot around the ring with me on him learning about contact learning about balance um, he has a beautiful mouth, so that made it very easy. He was still a bit butt high in the early stages, so you can see I'm trying to just show him that he has a trusting hand to start to go into, starting to pick up a bit of contact and put a little bit of shape into him and, and put him on the bit. Um, and he actually, you know, when he shakes his head there, he, he is very willing and, and easy and straightforward, but he's just learning there to keep his balance in the turns and holding some shape. Um, here, this was one of his first cross rails and, you know, doesn't knock your socks off right off the bat. But what I really like about him is he's always been very willing. We did a very gradual progression. So everything he had in front of him, he was very capable of doing. Um, and he did it easily, you know, very trusting. He was careful. He had a very scopey feeling, although you wouldn't really see it on the video. He looks like he's just stepping over. But we really like when these young horses start that they feel confident. They think about where they're putting their feet without overdoing it and scaring themselves. And you can see here, just again, working on that flat work and the balance is getting better all the time. He's getting stronger. He's learning to come up in his shoulders, transfer weight onto his hindquarters. Um, a really nice progression for a horse this age. At this stage, he was three and a half. This was back in January. So really happy with everything he's offering up here. Again, just a little cross rail there, boring, quiet, a nice ground line to show him kind of the way that he needs to be doing things. Um, and then very quickly, you see, we actually took him to his first outing off the farm, um, which was at the Florida Horse Park in the four-year-old class. And to be totally fair to him, he would be very underprepared for this, but I thought because of his good nature that he would step up to the plate, um, and he really did. He, he was a real joy to ride around this. Um, again, you know, still learning where his feet are, getting support from me, you know, here just a little bit downhill. He got there a little bit deep and still learning how to, you know, throw a nice shape and be careful, but I was thrilled with him. I, I couldn't have been more impressed with his first outing off the farm. Um, and we were kind of learning you know, he's a really scopey horse. He's careful, but he just loves the cross country, which is really encouraging. Um, I gave him a positive ride around here, but you can see I'm, I'm starting to just back off him and give him a nice quiet ride, which is our goal with these young horses to teach them to think for themselves. Um, and there were some spooky jumps. And like I said, he's jumped some logs at our place. He really hadn't seen much. So for him to jump around this, I thought was a really encouraging step. And I was just thrilled with him. Um, here again, a little positive into the water. He throws a great jump, you know, happily pops through the water, um, trots this little shark's tooth, which I thought was a real test for these young horses and trust and, and ability at this stage, especially early on. This was in February. So really encouraged by just his way of going, really light uphill, no encouragement for me in between the fences. He's happy to continue in a positive manner the whole way. Um, and you can see he starts to come up through his shoulders just a bit more every ride. He wants to be in a nice round shape, which makes him a real joy to produce. Um, again, this he'd never seen anything like that. He threw a beautiful jump there. And as I was going around, I was thinking, wow, what a, what a horse we have. He's just such a star and so trusting and confident in his own abilities. Little ditch there to a log. Um, but I was super, super encouraged. You can see this next one, I, the judge was sitting there. I tried to be 
a little bit positive and show him off and get him there with a little bit of space in hopes that he would jump a bit higher. Um, and I made a bit of a move and he said, oh no, I know better. Um, what a great jump he threw there. Really excited about him. And then without chasing him, I just let him cover some ground and he was happy to do it. I thought this was a great start. And this is a bit of his test from that same event. Um, again, we have a dressage ring at home, so he's seen that once or twice. Um, actually, not with me, with, with the girls that work for us, just getting a nice, friendly introduction. Um, and I sat on him for maybe 10 minutes in the warm up before this test, and I thought, well, heck, I'll, I'll just go in because he was being so quiet and happy, and he was just thrilled to, to be a part of this whole thing. So I don't like to overdo it in the warm up with the young horses. I like them to have a positive experience. If anything, I might do a little less if they're going well and, and seem to be happy and quiet instead of trying to bang out every point. Um, I thought I'll just go in the ring and, and give him a nice flat school. And you can see how much bigger he's moving in this video. He's coming up through his shoulders, loading the hind end and making my job really easy. Um, I thought this was a really great start for him. Doing him in the jump saddle, as you can see here, trying to encourage him to travel forward, um, a nice light seat giving his back plenty of room to come up. And I thought this was just a really good sign for this young horse that he came and handled everything like a, a real veteran, which he had no business doing. So very, uh, very encouraged by this. And you can see his canners coming more uphill, up through the shoulders. The contact is getting better all the time. If anything, he almost needs to do a little bit less for his age. He's very, very uphill and willing um, and being a stallion he does have a really nice development through his top line and through his neck so I'm trying now kind of after this event we just went back and, and Ellie started riding him a bit which works out great because he's a, she's a bit better size for him um, but we're trying to show him that he can really stretch his neck out and lengthen his frame and, and manipulate his body which is a big thing in these horses especially as they go up the levels, there's always a stretch movement in the test and you want them to really access every muscle from their back to their tail and teaching him to be longer in his frame now that he's been very willing to come up is kind of the next step in his development. So working on that now, but again, anybody that produces young horses, it's just such a great feeling going in the ring and having them not shy away from the boards, being confident um, and really looking forward to what they're doing in there. There's nothing better, nothing more rewarding. You can see even here, a lot of times these young horses, they'll start walking and getting a bit anxious and jigging. And I thought, if anything, this horse just settled into it even more when I let him walk. You can see there, we'll work toward getting the neck a little lower, the throat latch a little more open. Um, a little bit of a tough thing when you're teaching them to also go on the bit and come into their balance because you say, okay, now you have to go back to that very basic step. Um, but you can see his walk is really developing. And then here we have Ellie doing a bit of flat work on him. You can see the movement is coming on really dramatically. Um, one, because Ellie's on him and she does such a good job. But two, time, strength, patience. It's, it's his best friend at this point. He needs to awesome. just keep developing. And here Ellie gives him a jump around. Um, this would be after that first show. And you can see he's starting to really not only understand how to be relaxed in between the jumps, but he's starting to throw just a beautiful shape over the top, really starting to show his scope now. Um, and every time we jump this horse, we're just so thrilled with how he comes along because it's no you know, special prep from us. He's just showing how much he loves it and showing his confidence and ability through his body and showing Come jump you know, what and he white. was bred to do. And I'd like to thank Ann um, Custer for her support and sending him to us and letting him come into himself here and letting us develop him because, you know, what a superstar of a young horse. We just could not be more excited.